Hello, ladies and gents, welcome back to the Long Dark. I'm Roll Sane Game. Hope y'all have a good day so far. Anyway, welcome back. Uh, last episode, we uh, came back here from River Valley and uh, we're settled in nicely here. Anyway, uh, I got a second Moose Hide Satchel cured. Alright, well, we have two Moose Hide Satchels. We have some stuff curing. Uh, we also have. Uh, oh, that's cured maple sapling. I don't think. Alright. Uh, we have some arrows being ready to make. We have 40 arrows ready to make. Um, we have fresh wolf pelts. Okay, we have some guts. I was going to make a moose hide poncho. Uh, where is it? Ah, uh, yes. Four cured gut. Okay, so we're going to be going down to the Paradise of Meadows farmstead. Anyway, a quick overview of what we need. We've gotten our skills up quite a bit. I read a rifle skill book to help the rifle skill out a bit. I also need to work on my archery and mending. Ice fishing will have to wait until we go back to Mystery Lake or Milton. Depending on the situation. Well, not Milton, but right. Milton or Pleasant Valley. Then I might do the fishing in Mystery Lake because reasons. Though, say so once we get back to, uh, we're at 93 pounds. That's mainly because of the moose hide. But, eh. Anyway, we have level 4 and 3 across the board, aside from that one level 2, but that's almost done. Uh, we have 5 out of 13 notes, we have 15 out of 165 cards, 0 out of 31 buffer memories. And, um, that's my notes so far. The ammo, lemon fuel, a couple of horror mags, some classic rock CDs for our CD player, some Jack Daniels, repair tools and clothes, take a big shit, slap a bear in the ass, and finally watch American Psycho because I have still not watched that fucking movie and I heard it is a classic. So anyway, let's get into it. Okay, uh, it's, yeah, it's about midday, so we'll take a one for firewood. Feels like a lot of gear. Eh, we're not gonna be able to run, but I think we'll be fine. Um, we get the gut outside. Okay, what do we have on us? Okay, we have some wood. Uh, we have a little bit of water and food. Um. Put the cure stuff outside, but yeah. I probably could make some arrows, preferable, really. But I mean, we could move to uh, the farmstead area, but I doubt that would be efficient because then we'd have to make walks up across the bridge to a wolf infested area. But oh. Damn, I hear that waterfall to the right of us, and it sounds lovely. I might take a view over there. Uh, the drop. Cured. Because, honestly, we have enough to make about 12 bows. <laughs> anyway, we need one, two, three, four. Yep, we have four for gut, and, uh, ready to go. This is going to make us a moose hat cloak. Because here's the good thing about the moose hide cloak, you can make a new one completely, you just need four cured gut. So, that's an added bonus. Well, let's see, and uh, this episode, episode actually, I, before I was working on this game, everything set up proper, everything cured. Uh, I actually killed a couple wolves down by the uh, farmstead, so, I have to, have to watch out for the moose corpses, or uh, wolf corpses, my bad, a little correction there. Uh. I don't know what else we can do really, but um, lately they added a hot fix down on consoles. That was like one gigabyte, I believe. So if you haven't gotten that downloaded, then check it out. Um, fix some of the bugs they were, we were having. I remember back at the release, there was a cheat menu on consoles by pushing L1 and R1. There's actually a YouTube video of it out there. It's pretty kind of cool because uh, you could uh, fly and shit like the devs. Though you can do that on PC by going to the mod database and downloading that save editor like I do. The, check out regions and stuff. It's kind of nice. And again, it kind of bugged the game out. But if you're stuck, you can use that save editor on PC to uh, get unstuck and such. So, that's a bonus. But I do want to kind of map Milton out and uh, see how that goes. Because I think we can map Milton to a degree. Like map the town and like the church and the bridge. But I do want to go through the plane crash because I have never been there in survival mode. Though we do have a bear to avoid. Hey, what that bear is a pain in the ass to deal with. A pain in the ass, I mean a complete pain in the ass. Water. It's quite refreshing. 
And there goes the morning deer. Hey, bubbles. Anyway, I would like to uh, thank you all for the continued uh, people who watch this. I appreciate you all greatly. Um, help me keep the series going. And, uh, bubbles. No, 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 no. Okay, you're good. Go, bubbles. And yeah, my puppy, he was a uh, little exploration just now. Uh, yeah, we have checked the milk box. Okay, we're gonna cut up over here. Might grab a little bit more meat. Is uh, me sure we're stocked on food, but I think we could cook up something while uh, get that going. Paradise Meadow Farm. Ah, uh, here we are. Here we are. Uh, I'll harvest a little bit more of this wolf meat and cook it, I guess, because. Oh, uh, so, crow feathers. We need these. Smell them. About 14 minutes. Harvest that up. Cook it. Have some wheat to go. Alright, we're good, we are good. Let's get this moose cloak, we'll start on it and uh, leave it down here. And we'll grab it. <laughs> Bowie. <laughs> Hell yeah, we got some good old scrumplings. Like some rabbit saute. <laughs> Hell yeah. Alright, uh, sounds kind of bad out, so. I'm gonna. Wrap up this wood plank. Do you have a, do you have intestinal parasites? I have a chance for intestinal parasites, so we really can't uh, eat much. So oh, there's a thing I have though. Why can't we cook down the? Uh... Oh, I can make a another moose that's actual by one because I already have like two of those. So I will put in 7.5 hours and we'll use this hatchet. Okay, well, ah, we've healed our intestinal parasites, so that is a good sign. Alright, got seven hours, and, uh, ah, here it is, ah, uh, point twenty-two pounds, yeah, that is a monster. We have the, um, we have the Mackinac jacket, but I do believe the, uh, wolf skin coat will be a lot, uh, be lighter, because that's three pounds. This, I, how much is that? I think that's, like, what? Like, eight pounds. Shit, but it gets a good bonus, so... Anyway, we need to drink and eat. So we're gonna drink a little bit of water. About... There should do. And eat a little bit of venison. And then, um... I'm gonna harvest this for rabbit meat, and, uh... I'll do that. Then we'll get a fire going. Okay, where's that fire barrel at? Uh, there we go. Uh, we don't have much. Sense. Okay, we'll use some wood matches. That fire going, and we'll cook our meat. Shit, not her. No bubbles. Nope. Uh, it is a Sunday afternoon. It's about two o'clock my time. It's your standard. Uh, anyway, we're gonna cook up that wolf and rabbit meat, and uh, that goes. Honestly, we need to cook that up and. Because I really didn't want to make this moose hide cloak. Okay. Alright. Okay, how much does that take to cook? One hour? One hour twenty five. Okay. Uh. Okay, we. Okay, we'll work on that moose hide then for one hour and use this hatchet up. Okay, I think it's done. Yep. Oh, okay. There we go. And uh, we had five hours left on that fire. That's a peaceful, nice, clear evening. Okay, okay, we don't have much. Go ahead and uh, went for about 30 minutes, so go ahead and go five hours. Use that hatchet. Okay, and our wolf meat should be done. Yes, it is. Okay, 25 minutes. Alright, I'll eat that. 
Um, I think we should probably make a little bit of water. Make about 0.13. Actually, no, we need a pair of rose hips. Rushing mushrooms. Okay, how much? Trying to go five hours. Okay, that's about 20 minutes. So we'll do in increments. Cloak. Um, they're currently they're working on doing a redux for the first two episodes of story mode and working on episode three as well. So, uh, yeah, that's kind of nice, I guess. Um, don't really. Uh, what are we looking at? Okay, we have, that's for painkillers, so we're gonna go ahead and drink this hot rishi tea. And drink the other two. Honestly, that gives us a added benefit of warming up. And we can run, so. 15 minutes, other little 0.5 hour increment. I got I had two cans, I think I can place them, so. Yeah. Is that an owl? What the hell they... About 40 minutes, so we'll do one hour. Do one hour. Uh... That's a beautiful, nice sky. But, I do not want to risk it being out here, because, uh, the rural wolves are quite a, uh, threat. And the bear. Let's go ahead and wait. Alright, there we go, we'll leave, uh, good, uh, good, like this we'll make, we need about five hours, so we'll and get that crafted out. Oh god. That's not good. Um and there's this water. Okay, okay. Uh seventy minutes in a barrel, so I think we'll go ahead and wrap this up. And use the hatchet up, because we have a spare hatchet. I think we are done with our moose hat satchel. Wait. Two hours? Oh, we still have two hours left? We need uh, over and cover or something? We need that. Okay, and we'll uh, wolf meat. See how that goes. Um, ooh. Oh, shit. Okay, well, oh fuck, we've been standing in fucking snow, damn it. Yeah, let's get out of that. Grab this final. Oh damn, that hatch is gonna be completely fucked. Alright, there we go. We have a moose out cloaks, ladies and gents. Wait, what? 44 minutes? The hell? Uh, there, now we have a moose side satchel or cloak, folks. Oh, look at that. What is our. Whew! 88 pounds. Okay, yeah, we are gonna. I mean, we have a ton of stuff we're gonna be hauling with us, so. Yeah, but anyway, we're going back to the uh, homestead and uh, go ahead and get back up there and heal up. Wow. Yeah. Uh, I could always use a little bit more to cook. There's a little feather, so I'm gonna head and grab about four pounds of wolf meat and uh, go back up to the uh, Grey Motor's house and uh, go ahead and cook this stuff up. Let's get back out of here. I think we'll keep the uh, moose hide cloak with us just as out of necessity to keep us warm. I mean, it has the best bonus. Though the wolf coat will, uh, it's a good warmth bonus. Like, it's not even that cold, or not even. I doubt we'll have an issue in a blizzard, so. 
yeah. So it would be interesting to know how the uh, wearing two pairs of deer skin pants affects us in a way. Um, I do a little bit of mapping as I've said because I do want to map this area. So this little town getting mapped out. The, so I might go down from the river basin. Like skim me on down that rope. Depends really. Depends. I just depend. And wait. Ooh. Slight frame drop. Wait, we are back in Milton, so. Right now I am working on a couple of achievements. I got the uh, faithful uh, what? Oh, oh. Is there two? Oh, you slight lucky girl. Oi. Hey buddy. Listen, you wanna go? I tell you what, you some bitch. I'm wearing your buddy fluffy and scruffy. And I made a moose eye cloak, motherfucker. You want issue? You can suck my fatty. Come on. Come on. Come on, big fucker. Come on, motherfucker. You wanna go? Come on, you slight gal. Yeah, you, fu you stay back, motherfucker. I got a rifle. I'm sure my Johnson in this bitch. <laughs> Come on. Oh, you gotta. Oh, this is gonna be a good time. <laughs> Come on, you son of a bitch. You wanna go? You wanna go, bud? You want? You want? You wanna go, bud? No? Okay then. Go back and get you later, you little shit bag. Jeremiah Johnson. Heard me right, folks. I'm motherfucking Jeremiah Johnson. In fucking Canada. <laughs> okay, uh. We, we have a ton of stuff in here, so we're gonna drop off our red pelt and cure it out. So we have a lot of pelts. So I do want to deal with that bear. Actually, I, I, I actually might make a bear skin better, all depends on how the situation goes. Hmm. Okay, I uh, will drop the rabbit hide back here along with the uh, that. We also have stuff to cook, so we also need more wood. And my hatch is about done, so we'll grab about pick that up and start a fire. No, oh, no, I do not want to use my lantern fuel. I'm gonna go ahead and use that up. Well, I do need charcoal as well, so. I'm going to grab that and something else. Hmm. Come on. Hmm. So I think we do need to be packing for necessity here. I don't much stay here for a while in Milton. Might be, uh, completely map this region. Oh man, my fucking hand. Turned out pretty well. Alright, okay, okay, let's go ahead and cook up this fucking wolf meat. Rancid. Just lovely. Just what I love the smell in the morning. Rancid ass wolf meat. Okay, we have a ton of water, so we're gonna grab that. Uh, about 2060, and uh. Go ahead and put away some stuff. Um, we don't really use the bow. Okay, well, what do I have on me like this way? Yeah, I don't I don't need to carry that around. Uh, I'll put this over here on the table. And uh after the last episode I found this in a cave. So this is gonna be cooking for about an hour. Uh let's so move that cooking pot up here. And, uh I'm cook that. I think we'll go a sudden harvest. Uh, do we have a? We do have a rifle rack, so uh, drop down the weight, unload, and uh, our rifle's about. Uh, I'm gonna have to leave something behind. Leave our old beauty up there. Okay, what are my hides looking? Okay, these curing. These are curing nice. Okay, wolf hides. 
pile of fresh guts. Okay, we got an arse, but we're gonna go outside and arse that wolf up and cook him. Because why not, really? Why not? Hmm. I think we should be able to organize our buildings to degree, really. Alright, uh, the other wolves. I also need to get charcoal. To harsh this guy out. Uh, what the hell does meat look like? Uh, uh, that meat looks like deer meat, but it's wolf meat, so I think the devs need to fix that. I think that might be a bug, in all honesty. But, beggars can't be choosers, so. And let's get back inside. It's about to be a blizzard. Ah, uh, shit. We're gonna need to get more wood, too. But we do have a good supply of meat. Or set out completely. Ah, uh, fuck me. Something's gotta go. There needs to be a wood bin right there. I think they should have left that in from story mode, but... I think that just might have been a fetching quest. Kind of mission shit, so... Okay, uh, burn. I want her to boil, that's almost fucked. Okay. Um, no, uh, go ahead and. Mm, fuck it, I'll eat it. Ah, uh, damn it, okay, okay, uh, drop. Oh man, that sizzling sound makes me hungry. I don't know about y'all. Okay, we'll put it in this pan, and, uh, oh, probably make some more water, I guess. Okay, what's the fire at? Two hours, okay. Alright, we'll put two more so sticks on it. Uh, it's gonna be a blizzard out. Um, let's run down, what do we have? We'll probably break down that Mariner's pea coat. Yeah, this is, that's a nice looking coat. I wouldn't mind having that. It's a nice ass coat. Yeah, it's stylish too, I like it. Mm -hmm. It, I don't think it, okay, yeah, I'm gonna take charcoal. Tw seven charcoal, okay. Uh, we've mapped up around the main town, so I think we'll go on the other side of the town by the log sword area and map that out, so. We also need to sleep. So, yeah, fucking. How's that? Okay, 13 minutes. Oh, shit. I'm still melted. Okay. I got 19 minutes already, so we're in. Alright. Uh, three hours in the fire. Okay. I think good to have all this meat on us. We're going to put it outside and then uh, we'll rest up for about an hour. And uh, see how that goes. Oh, my neck. Hmm. I've also been thinking about doing a Let's Play of Red Dead Redemption. Uh, I don't know if I should, though. I don't really have an actual capture card. So... Yeah. But we have a ton of food out here, and we have hides carrying, so... Well, it's about to be a blizzard anyway, so I think we should get back inside and rest up. For about an hour, and see how that goes. About 13 minutes so we're in. Okay, well, we have a tire fire going. Rest up. And we probably should go ahead and just sleep about full 12 hours because we are very tired. Mm. Yeah, that water is like 14 pounds, so we'll go ahead and. Uh, about all right, it is daytime. We're gonna put this water up. Yeah, it's like oh, 
460. Yeah, and we're a little bit over encumbered, so, uh. I don't think we're gonna need a pry bar ground, so we'll go ahead and put that up. Uh. What else? Oh, yeah, the. Oh, shit, I need to put those guts down. That's my. That's my. Why we're over encumbered. Go ahead and, uh. Drop that, and drop this over here. We're at 76 pounds, so we're gonna go ahead and go out. Side, if it is not in climatic weather, and uh, map this region. Do a little bit of exploration, map it out more. Okay, it is uh, slightly windy, so. Uh, I think we'll go ahead and map the bridge, because, um, let me check the map. Yeah, we only have this little area, we don't have the bridge, so we're going to map over here by the church. I guess, so. Uh, yeah, it's going to be a... I think we have, like, a wide view of the area, I think we should be able to map more. I've said this multiple times. So, eh, uh, not that cold, we have a little bit of risk in pistol parasites, so... I do want to map over by the church, so we'll go ahead and, uh... Survey the local area. Alright, uh, let's cross the bridge and get by the church. This log sort. Um, nice little waterfall. Hmm. Map over here, and then we'll go back around. If I see the church. Holy shit, that's a lot of gear. Probably bag one if we're lucky. Ah, damn it. I wonder off that. Um, okay. I'm not really trying to hunt right now, so. I'm gonna get this wide area. Okay, woodlot. Alright, we got rashy mushroom. Okay. That is one, two, three, four. That is four deers. Let's crouch up on and get one. If we're lucky, we only have one area. So. Hmm. Which one ever comes closer? Pens. Ah, damn it. Fuck. Oh, well. Uh, if I, yeah, I've searched this. Okay, we're gonna have her up this way and do a little surveying, I guess. Hmm. Ooh, stick. Oh, whoa! Oh, I fucker. Uh, drop one cooked meat, see if he comes. And I'll pop him in the face. I don't really use that strategy much, but it'll help my bow skill, I guess. Is he charge? Got him in the ass. Ah. Oh, you fucker. Come here. Yeah, I shouldn't run the butt all. I forgot I ain't bleeding. But we got him, so. And map this. Oh, it might not be good out. Uh, dear cars. Hmm. Okay, I do want to get by the church. So, I might go in there and. Oh, hey, a two for one! Be damned. I'm gonna get close up on this son of a bitch. I got him, but he took my fucking arrow. Oh hell yeah, we got we got a wolf. We got two one boys. Where the hell that son of a bitch run off to? Oh, tracks went this way. It's going up this way, okay. He circle back. No, he went this way. Uh fucking hell. Damn it. Okay, went up this way. What the fuck? Oh. Boink! Got him. <laughs> Wait, this one I shot? Oh, oh. Fuck yeah. Okay, so where the hell did that other wolf go? I'm not mistaken. She came back over this way, but we do need a map. 
Once we find that little wolf, I get my arrow back from the. I am getting the hell out of here. If the blood trail goes up the hill and over the ridge. Alright. Um. Follow the blood trail. Follow the blood trail, folks. Hopefully, blood out. So, I really need that arrow back. He went back, circled back. He just went this way. The trail. And. Hmm. Okay, the blood trail goes this way. And. Come on, let's get it. Let's get it. Follow me up here. Get that fucking arrow. Other blood trail. Alright. That was this little bugger. Hmm. What the? Ah, damn it. Let's go ahead and find this fucking wolf and gotta rest up. There he is, he's up here. Hopefully. We gotta get back to the fucking homestead. Oh! There he is, is that him? Bleed? Got him. Hey. Oh, simple arrow. All right. Uh, grab this. And fuck. Oh god. So we gotta get back to trappers. They're not trappers, but uh, homestead. Okay. Uh, we got a little bit of time. Let's go ahead and map this. All right. Uh, oh, a cave's over here. All right, we mapped this area pretty decent. Okay, let's get back. Uh, we have a couple deer carcasses to hide, harvest as well, but we have intestinal parasites, so we're going to have to be minimal with what we do. Oh. God damn. Fuck. Can't believe we got intestinal parasites, but uh, I think the next episode we'll uh, go ahead and harvest the two deer carcasses and that wolf carcass. We'll come back over here from the bridge. Damn. I can't believe I got fucking intestinal parasites from a little bit of wolf meat. Oh shit. Alright, alright. Uh. Is there a sapling over here? Oh, yeah, there's a sapling. Okay. Alright, okay, where's that? Okay, deer carcass over that well off the one by the church. Okay. We need to get back inside because we are not doing too cool. Well, I want to give you all a recap of this stuff so far. We've mapped Milton out to a degree. We've killed about three wolves, turned into Jeremiah Johnson, and uh, got intestinal parasites. Nice looking buck. It's the Alberta muley. If y'all are looking for the long dark, so I recommend, uh, if y'all look at other channel, I recommend my friend Troy Die Trying. He's, uh, it's pretty good on long dark. I mean, he doesn't have a lot of luck with it, but he does alright with it, I guess. So we met, actually. And also LMG and, uh, such, so.
Cause I'm a dead man walking. <laughs> Shit. Alright, alright, alright. Hmm. Well, we're back at Grey Mother's, so anyway, go up here and do send off. And next episode, we'll go out do our do old intestinal parasites. So yeah, ain't that a bitch? <laughs> anyway, though, y'all, I hope y'all enjoyed this episode of the Long Dark Vision with the Flame update. I'll see y'all around. I'm Earl Sand Game, and uh, good luck out there. And uh, stay safe. Bye bye.